Okay, so uh, I'm going to draw an asp. I'm going to draw, draw an asp in front of her an eclipse, an eclipsed Ulf Rayet star, and start off with light purpley blue paper because it seems appropriate for a Wolf Rayet star, but mostly because it's like quite a nice thing to just have that colour to look at for a bit rather than just black, the blackness of space, or white, which is even more kind of like off putting. So I just choose a nice colour and it's card, it's really nice. I mean so it's it, it's quite easy to, to rub out and mess around with. So it, it, and it also seems to like it, it doesn't totally sort of like grab on to the chalk totally well but it it, it mostly does chalk chalk goes on it pretty well and you can smudge it in and the more layers of chalk you get the get the better better surface you get it's not got that gravelly effect that some paper you get and then you can always see the gravel regardless of whether or not you've um you've put on loads of layers anyway so i'm doing purple and blue and it because just mostly the background is purple and blue on this one. It's a nice picture. It's actually the wrong format. It's much wider, this piece of card. But I just thought I might as well just use the whole piece of card and just pretend there's a bit more planet than there is. But So what you see me do here is you are seeing me doing this whole bit of the picture for the first time before I smear my cuff into it and have to do it all again. So if you are willing to sit and watch me do this, you are going to see me do this whole bit twice. But at least I sped it up to four times. So I lived through this four times slower than you're seeing it. So that's, that's something you've not got to bear with. Anyway, well, I mean, I enjoy it. So why why wouldn't I? But yeah, so I, I to my all intents and purposes, I think I've got the right colour planet there. It's kind of sort of fading off into the eclipse darkness. So I start to start to work out where the asp is going and it's got that kind of diamond shape so and the, the nice kooky kind of angles of the the rear engine thruster whatnots so I sort of put them in first like little cubie boxes oh look doing nice hand prints on it from putting my hand over it this is why I had to do it again you see and then I'm colouring in things with chalks that are far too big to do the very very tiny ship so the problem with spaceships they're all in in space they're, they're just dwarfed by the hugeness and vastness of the universe so everything looks really tiny and chalk is not particularly good at doing things tiny which um i have got some little pencils now some chalk pencils that are painfully expensive they're like two quid a pot but they're worth it even though like every time you sharpen them like a bit of chalk snaps off because you can actually get look here it is. You can get a decent kind of pointiness on them. Well, not really pointy, but you can do a little bit of more detail. So I'm going to do some tonal gradienty type stuff there to try and show how the light is being cast from in front of the asp, and then the the curvature, well, not curvature, the the angle of the the side plane of the asp roof is is sort of shading itself, so it fades to that greyish purple as well, which is it's quite a nice effect to try and show and I think it looks nice in the original picture which is kind of I looked back at it after I finished this the original picture is so much more dark so much more impressive and, and sort of punchy I suppose that's what you get with screenshots isn't it they look like photos gosh I do this line so many times I've seen it I've just I felt like I did it because you have to keep correcting it that's the annoying thing about chalk is well it's a good thing about chalk as well because you can never it's nothing's ever not fixable with chalk. You can always either rub it out if it comes to that, but you can um, find yourself doing the same thing a few times, which is, it's all right. Anyway, so you see a little bit more clearly, I'm starting to do details and using masks, which is basically a scrap of paper that I found on a desk somewhere. And the good thing about using masks is it means you can't get a goofy great chunk of chalk where you don't want it. So when you're doing like something that's got angles and and actual pieces of metal that stop at certain areas it's kind of you can get away with it a bit more with portraits because people's faces are a bit more bendy but as you can see you, you want to have something to sort of protect the rest of your picture oh annoyingly it's focusing in on my skaggy hands rather than the picture unless i keep my hands out of the picture which is not unfortunately an option See, now I'm starting to do those engines. I never quite managed, unfortunately, with this picture to get the engines looking good enough. They just don't look, I don't know, they don't look quite 
powerful enough and there's not enough sharp intense light glaring off them you don't feel like they're boosting away i might i might have another whack at it perhaps even get a bit of paint on there to really bring the the real force of the white fire of the engines coming out of the back because that's what makes it look like it's going somewhere i think this is super cruise because i did spot a line um on the original screenshot one line you don't always see tons of them do you those the, the dust streaks so i think this is in super cruise not real space but still you'd still see the light from the well, would you though oh i'm not sure now i think about it would you see the engine tr you wouldn't you would it must be in um must be in real space it was perhaps just some random line somebody will know who knows these things people tend to don't they righto anyway so look i'm coloring in the back and using purple it's not really purple it's blue but i've not got a really nice dark blue color but i have but it's just not that bluish purple they're always kind of petrol blue they're greenish blue and this really is a purpley blue um apart from the bits that are lit with the engine light so i've got some like attempt to show sort of vaguely and in a kind of fluffy way some of the um the like the panels on the surface of of the the asps roof this is where i endlessly do the next bit just 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 repairing the bits that i'm smudging over and over again look the top of the planet i'm going to do that again in a minute i know i am you're going to see me do that again here there every time you do it with paper you get yourself a little overspill line because unless you're really 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 precise you tend to get an extra bit then you have to rub that out and then you take it off and you see the next line that you left because unless you cut your piece of paper exactly into the shape of the asp you're trying to or the spaceship anyway well what have we got starting to do the the underside of the ship and try and kind of clarify the the cubiness of it because at the moment it's looking round because you tend to do things by doing them round but actually trying to straighten some of the lines to make it more clear that it is a it's 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 a it's got a flat base and then I'm also trying to make it look like a cube rather than just a blob look there's another one of those annoying vestigial trails of chalk that you don't want so to be honest I think I was going to leave this kind of woolly and patchy I might actually just cut my losses. It's only a bit of fun. I kind of ages ago, like February time, I asked a bunch of people. I didn't ask a bunch of people. I asked the world, anyone who might see my my um my Twittery message. I asked if anyone had got some nice screenshots because I was running out of things to do. Since then, I've been to Colonia, so I've got lots more pictures. But at that time, I didn't have that many pictures I liked in my screenshot folder to copy so everyone sent me well, I say everyone about seven or eight people sent me some pictures to draw and I've had them in a pile since then this is one of them I got one of space uh, of a space station that I'm trying to do as well but that's taking me a bit longer I think I'm have to use pencil because it just takes ages the details on space stations are really you know you, you can't make them look that nice with chalk because they're just so they're just so crisp and tiny <laughs> can't remember what I use for it. I've started it anyway. Ah, right, okay, so that's nearly done. That's something at least. And I'll just do that for another time. That bit there. This is where I'm going to try and do the planet again. But this bit, I'm getting there with the planet now, I think. Look, this is the nicest bit in the picture. And I think I, I remove it. <laughs> Be nice if you could just stop and think, oh, actually, that that's about as good as that's going to get. But no, of course not. You never do. You keep going until it looks dead. <laughs> flog, flog. Not to worry. Get there in the end. And each time I think to myself, I could make that better. And then I never do. Because <laughs> I think, oh, you know, that'll do. I'd best go and eat some pie now. So, look, I quite like that. It looks like, almost like, you know, the pictures of Aurora from space. Uh, it's not how it looks in the <laughs> screenshot either. That it, it's not, look, there's a little trail and I don't think I've moved it. Never mind. Here, this is me doing that bit again. See, I told you you're going to have to see do it again. There we go. Make it dark around the edges, sort of vignette it almost. I think I probably put my elbow in it again after this. There, bit of darkness. 
there. This is fun. I like doing this bit, blending the different tones of chalk when you've already got chalk on there because they blend in with the chalk that's underneath really nicely and you get that kind of like silky sort of quality to it. It's a bit more interesting to look at because you know there's more layers of interesting colours that you can you can work into. That's why I like doing nebulas. This has got some kind of gas clouds or sort of dust clouds in the sky that are sort of backlit by that star that I get to do a little bit of that. They're kind of deep, vivid sort of eaves climb blue, but this I've obviously not got a particularly good... Well, I've got a nice blue, that's a nice blue, but it's a bit pale. Uh, so I've not got the really, really dark, deep, but still purpley blue that you get in space pictures. So what I think I've done... See, that's me completely wrecking my pretend aurora. Um, and look, my gaggy chalk-coloured hands, you'll never get it right if you do that. Never mind. There. Put a bit of another colour on it and blend that in. That is actually blue, but you'd never know that to look at it. It's, it looks like white. That's why I like it. It's white that's got blue, a little bit of blue in it. Anyway, nearly there. This is quite fun because you get to do all the kind of the, the floaty nothingness in space and then sort of dissipate it out into the darkness. Make it all look kind of like almost, almost not there, but but just like as though actually it does just look like it's cooking. Never mind. Now I look at it, it looks a little bit wrong. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Nobody minds too much. Um, it's putting a bit of purple in space. See that bit in, in the picture? I just made that up. Oh, look, I made up a bit of purple and blue. This is your gas cloud area that was really, really, really deep, deep purpley blue. And I'm just doing the background of some stars because the stars have got that. That, I think, is the, the key star, that, that the one with the big bright blue blob on it. That's going to have white on top of it for the, the light of the star eventually. But But... It's a yellow star, but it was much smaller than that. And um they're white ones. <laughs> but the little the little blue one, that's that that's one that I was I, I think is the, the main star for the system that this is because that's why everything looks blue, I think. There, at least that's smaller now. So now I've got to make that, that, that blue star look Oh, just given up the ghost of trying to make it look blue. It's gone with burgundy purple. Never mind. It's it doesn't matter. It, it's it could have been there maybe some maybe some purple gas floated by who knows that's another close-up of the end of my pencil cool nearly done look i've got one more star to put in and then i can just oh no i haven't i've got i've got to do the um i've got i've got to do this weird floaty gray diaphanous nebula thing look there's my can you see my my cuff again such a spoon. Need to get roll my sleeves up. Oh yeah, engine trails. I, so many times I forget the engine trails, and it's just, you know, one of those things. There, floaty, floaty engine trails. It should also have masked or at least fixed the asp, and then um, put some of the blue on top of the asp. Uh, so that it looked like the, the light was coming from the engines, but I don't think I've bothered. I think I've just done the least. <laughs> Never mind. It's it's all right. It's a bit fun. I quite like it, though. It was fun to do. Uh, this is this floaty nebula that I've seen in so many pictures, and I've drawn this nebula loads of times, and I've never bothered checking out where it is in the game. It doesn't look like this. It looks more like it did when I first scribbled the shapes on. It's sort of... It's very faint. I get the feeling it might be not in the galaxy. Anyway, there you go. That's it done. Righto.